hey what's happening guys my name is max and welcome to this brand new video in which i'm gonna give you some tips which will help you to stay safe and secure on the web so tip number one is whenever you enter your personal information on a website look for https in the url bar of your web browser if it's https then your connection to the website is private and secure it means that uh, you are protected from eavesdropping so let me now just tell you what uh, basically is dropping is uh, is dropping is a technique by which attackers basically hijack your data when it's in transit between your computer and the web server which you are connected to so next time when you enter your personal information on a website make sure that it's https in the web address instead of http so here's now tip number two Watch out for a common scam on the internet that is phishing. You have probably heard of phishing attacks but now let me just tell you how it works. So in this kind of attack what the attacker basically does is he just creates a page. For example we can take the example of Facebook. Now what the attacker does is he just cre creates a page that looks similar to the login page of Facebook and then he creates an email pretending to the email sent to you by Facebook and in that email he just copy and paste his link and when you click on that link you will visit to a page that looks similar to the login page of Facebook and if you enter your credentials there the attacker has all the information that he needs and you are basically trapped so to avoid being fished you just need to take care of a few things let me just tell you those few things first thing is that uh, never enter your email on places you don't uh, prefer or I can say you don't trust this will help you to avoid getting those uh, spam mails and if you don't get those spam mails you will be protected from getting fished and now just uh, think twice before clicking any link in an email and before entering your credentials anyway just take a look at the url bar of the web browser and make sure that it looks dissimilar or i can say the same of the original company's page in the case of facebook it's www.facebook.com so make sure that it's facebook.com only nothing else now let's move to tip number three tip number three is that uh, change your passwords regularly because it's always easier to change your password than going uh, from an identity theft and uh, always choose a password that is a combination of uh, alphabets and numbers and also use some special characters or you can say that you should choose a password that is alphanumeric and uh, it should also contain some special characters now let's just uh, move on to tip number five tip number five is uh, that uh, prefer to use ODP that's a one-time password instead of uh, using your online transaction password or your net banking password because it's more secure to enter your OTP on public places like cyber cafes and all that and it also protects you from common attacks like keyloggers which are commonly take place at the cyber cafe uh, keylogger is a uh, basically a hardware or a software which uh, logs all the keys which you press on a computer when it's turned on and uh, if you enter your internet password or basically I say your net banking password in a cyber cafe then uh, if there's a key logger it will log your internet password or pin also so I am advising you to prefer to use OTP on public places because if you enter your OTP and there's a key logger then the OTP will get logged in but the OTP is secure in a way because your OTP changes from transaction to transaction and it's only valid for a limited amount of time so the attacker cannot get your internet or net banking password so using an OTP is a safety measure so so please next time when you are shopping something on the internet or basically browsing the web please uh, keep in mind these four or five things and these will help you to secure your your privacy on the internet and if you find the video helpful and want more videos like this subscribe my channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and 
make sure that you subscribe my channel to get the more videos like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then stay safe stay secure goodbye